Hi everyone, welcome to Community Impact. I'm Rina Agustin, the founder of Red Carpet Multicultural Fashion Show, bringing different cultures together. The reason why we are doing these shows is to bring to you the stories of the people who are making a difference in the community. And I have the privilege of interviewing this gorgeous Athena Hardani. Thank Hi, you Athena. so much. I'm good, thank you. And you? I am very good. I, uh, when I asked you, would you be interested in coming here? And you said, absolutely. And your story is mesmerizing, Athena. So, okay. Athena, how long have you been in Australia for? Uh, for six years, 2015. Uh, uh, to five the years and yeah. yeah and how old were you when you migrated i was 15 years old 15 yeah years but old. um in indonesia when we came from iran i was 10 years old okay so i was in indonesia for four years four years you yeah. were in indonesia so athena um you you are uh, studied over here in australia yes what did i you went study? to yuranga state high school yeah um i studied drama english maths goodness um there's something in music, of, yes. obviously. Yes. <laughs> yeah. so, and Diploma of Business. Diploma of Business. Yeah. Wow. Uh, because I follow you on Instagram and I see you're singing. So what made you choose that? So um, my mom had an opera voice and she really had a passion to sing when she was in Iran. But the problem in Iran, you cannot really sing. And if you sing, you will go to the jail and you wouldn't have a good life. So oh. in Iran, the... The people that sing, they go in under the ground to actually sing, you know, like those studios. And it's just so bad. Um, they don't let Iranian people have freedom to sing, you know. I think music is showing people what is in you or, you know, like a message. Message. Yeah. 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 So, wow. Yeah. So you do opera singing? I'm opera singer. So my mom was an opera singer. She was singing at home, but couldn't sing outside mm -hmm. and I think I got her voice <laughs> yeah wow yeah. you're blessed so um, I invited you Athena because I saw your story online and I was like okay you know if uh, if I can share your story to the world and and still you being going through so much and you're such a strong woman and you're just 20 you know, I would like to share your story to the viewers and say that if Athena can do it, everybody can do it. So your migration from Iran to Indonesia, do you remember? Yes, so um, we came to Dubai first for a few days and then we went to Dubai and we wanted to go with the boat to go to the ocean. And after a week, someone just came to my place and said, go ready, five minutes done we went there and they took us with a small uh, like a bus mm -hmm. and then they took us as a big bus and that bus did not have any bathroom or anything no water no food for a day so from like around 9 a.m to 9 p.m you couldn't go bathroom you couldn't eat you couldn't do anything you were stuck in that bus and it was moving all the way and they took us to the ocean after that. They took us out and took us with a small boat. And then we went to the big boat. And yeah. it was very scary for me. Yeah, you were 10? I was 10, yeah, yeah. I was very scared. Mm. And after that, it was around 6 or 7 a.m. The boat got sank because of people was smoking. So because of that, I really hate when people smoke yeah because it would remind me of how we my mom and my sister died and the other people that died as well so it was raining one side and the other side wasn't raining because it was covering it the water and things so people decided to go to smoke oh. same time and it just got synced <laughs> oh, yeah to the one side to the one side that mm -hmm. people were smoking yeah so then how did you and and your father yeah, my father. So my father was a very strong man, like in Iran. Um, he was karate, taekwondo, and, you know, I don't know the English name, but like those with the woods and things like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so he was very fit. Me, when I was in year around six, they teach me how to swim. And my sister was a year younger than me, so she couldn't learn oh, how to swim. Wow. So I knew how to swim and 
Yeah. So you were under the water? I was under water. So the bird was half in the water and half out. But the bird was like going like the upside, was yeah. going down, and then you have to swim back to go up. Back. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that must be traumatizing. Yeah. Yeah. So you couldn't find mum and sister? So, um, so my mom took me to the bathroom and I opened the door and I look at the bathroom and it was so shocking because I never saw that kind of bathroom. It was just two um, woods and the under you could see the water. And I was like, oh my God, am I going to like go in the water? water yeah. So what I like, it was very sort of like funny and sort of like dirty as well because, yeah. you know, when everything came up, the yeah. water oh. just came up yeah. and my mom had to go change me and things like that. And I was like crying. Yeah, so after that, it was a few hours, my mom wanted to go to the bathroom and I was sleeping and my sister was sleeping this side. Mm -hmm. And my dad took my mom to the bathroom and after that, the water just came up and I was just hearing voices like, Alhamdulillah, oh my God, this, 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 like, you know, like scary voices. And I just got up and I just got up and the water was already, and my sister was already gone. Gone. And what I saw, it was like a a light that I saw and I knew that I could like just swim to that place. And I came up and I was looking at people, dead babies and things like that. And I was like, this is a dream. So I was biting myself, pinching myself oh. and shouting so I can get up from the dream. dream. Yeah. And I didn't. And it was very scary. I thought, okay, any second shark will come fish will come and I will be gone. But I had that little hope. I thought that I will find my mom, my dad or my sister, but I couldn't. After 20 minutes, my dad said, Athena, Athena. And I was like, I'm here, I'm here. Oh and so gosh. I find my dad. And then I was very, you know, happy that I could find him and yeah. maybe me and him could be a lot. So it was cold for a bit. The water was very cold. And I told my dad, can you please put me a bit upper? Like it was water, but you could see it and the water was like this much Yeah. to your knees. Mm. And after a while, the sun gone and it was a bit colder with the wind. So I said, I will be in, coming in the water. And then it was just this much, my dad hand and my hand to catch, to bring me down to the water. And I didn't see him the wave just hit us oh my God. and after that I saw a big um, a sm small boat that just came there we were very lucky because there were lots of fish over there and usually fishermen come for when where is um, what is it uh, birds in there oh, yeah. so yeah. after that I saw that I swim to it and I got into it, but he was running away because he knew that if everyone get to his boat, his boat will he, sink. Yeah. His boat will sink as well. Mm. So after that, we went to the Indonesia. They took us to Indonesia. And dad was with you? No, the dad, my dad was in the boat because he couldn't swim. He was just strong. Oh. Yeah. And, and when I went to Indonesia, I told them that my dad is in there. People are alive in there. We need to go save them. They didn't do anything. And they didn't? No. After three days, they went there and they were like just 13. They were 14. But after an hour, someone died because he was very hungry. And he actually was very rich. He had lots of um, business and things like that. His, um, I think his uncle, someone said that to my dad. I don't mm -hmm. exactly remember. Mm -hmm. But he was very rich. And he said that I was going to go under the water, get um, what do you call it? Um, just food and things like that. But everyone said that if you go down there, you would not come back up. And he said, no, I will try. Yeah. And he didn't come back. Oh. So it was 13 people. So he went down to grab food under the water. Uh, yeah, but obviously oh, there is no way. any food. But because they were in there for three days, they yeah. were losing their no mind. food. You know, yes. and the salt and the skin was burning. So... Obviously, he was losing his mind yes, to, to yes, something like that. Because they had no choice. They had to go down, find somewhere. They know where the food was. So out of that 14 people, 13 people left, when was your father? Uh, so after that 13, my dad was in there. In there. And 
So this is what's happened. My uncle came from Iran. So the news was everywhere in Iran. And my uh, auntie saw that news. And he call, uh, she called the, uh, my un uncle. And they came to Australia straight away after two days. And then they were there to take me to Iran, back here on, because they thought everyone is, you know, died. Yeah. Um, and after that, I was going. I remember I was like taking my suit and everything and I was crying. I was like, I don't want to go to Iran. I want to see my, I was 10 years old. I thought that my mom was alive, my yeah. father and my sister. Yeah. And then someone just ran to me. I said, Athena, Athena, your God. dad, I saw your dad name. He's alive. So I was like, yes, I'm so happy. Oh, Athena. <laughs> yeah. That so, would have been such a relief yeah. for you. But when he came, I couldn't recognize him because of the ocean and the, you know, the cuts that he had, the skin that, yeah. Wow, but, but he was happy to see you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys uh, met in Indonesia and then you, when did you come to Australia? So my dad said, we need to be going with, um, being refugee and things like that. Yeah. And after that, four years, we decided, you know, not we, they decided to take us to Australia. We got refugees and things like that. So mm -hmm. after uh, four years, 2015, we came to Australia. Yeah. So yeah. your uncle who came over there to take you, they flew back, back to Iran? They, yep, yeah, they yeah. went back to Iran. Yeah, to Iran, wow. And um, how's your journey here in Australia? It's very fantastic. Um, I remember that my uncle that time said to my dad, let's go back to Iran. You guys need to go back to Iran. And my dad, this is what, oh, and I don't going to rem forget it. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not going to forget it. Um, and it was that my dad said, my mom, my wife and my daughter died and I will never go back. I need to keep going because this is what, Amira, my mom name, want. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is, and your dad gave you an amazing life here in Australia. Yeah. Wow. So you live with your dad? No, my dad lives in Sunshine Coast. Yeah. Um, and I live in Brisbane. Brisbane, <laughs> Brisbane. Yeah. So, so when did you realize that you can sing, Athena? I realized, okay, this is a funny story as well. <laughs> So I was in uh, Indonesia and we were in, you know, not even refugees yet, like mm. very beginning. And I was 10 years old and I was washing the dishes and washing the dishes and singing. And someone was asleep. It was a guy and he knew about art stuff. And he came, he was like, was that you? I was like, what was me? Singing. I was like, yeah, I was singing. He was like, you have an opera voice. You could be a famous and things like that. You could, wow. you know, have um, uh, go to, you know, Australia Got Talent when you went to Australia or America Got Talent when you went to America because we didn't know which, the, which country, country you're going to land up. Yeah, yeah land mm. up. And I was like, I thought everyone sing like that. He was like, no. no. <laughs> so that was the funny wow. part. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow, there are some times like the talents that we have, we think everybody possesses it, yeah. unless and until the third person recognizes and says that, hey, no, you are unique, right? So where from, if you know what you're good at, so what are you, you're working towards getting into? Yeah, so from my Instagram, I starting, starting to post videos of me singing, mm -hmm. um, pop, maybe some rap, I don't know, but I can sing rap as well. And opera and jazz as well, yeah. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> so you learned it? Uh, just myself. I learned it myself. By myself. <laughs> and yeah. do you play any instruments? Uh, no. No? But I love to play piano. I do have piano at my place. Yeah. Um, not the fancy one, but... <laughs> yeah, but you know how to play yeah. it. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, and just a bit of it. Yeah, yeah. just a bit is enough and, yeah. to start. <laughs> yeah. So when I was in Yeringaste High School, my drama teacher always believed in me. And she send my you know voice and things like that to uh opera keys land and they said oh my god we should um, i want to give her a scholarship and we can start it tomorrow and we can send a teacher from opera keys land actual opera keys land um person going to come and she know like opera for half of her year wow yeah. so every week on morning seven to eight sorry seven to 
she will like teach me opera and things like that and it was very fun from year 11 to year 12 so two years you got a scholarship yeah from smith family athena that is amazing <laughs> thank you wow i always say that australia is the land of opportunity if you have the talent you know australians definitely boost us and give us the opportunity like you got the scholarship thank you right right so you are now on instagram facebook and where else uh, and instagram facebook and i want to make a um, facebook page yes but i will not make it now until i actually get more file followers in, in instagram so yes <laughs> yes i love tiktok what is your view TikTok. on tiktoks tiktok is where you can be famous like where you can get your talent show yes. to people yeah That's i right. need few people that actually started from tiktok not in instagram and they got famous in 3 months that's right and they have now you know yeah tiktok is Some. a platform where yeah as you said that if you have the talent of course you can showcase do it and get and you know there are many people who found their talent over there so yeah try tiktok <laughs> <laughs> athena if there's one thing that you would like to tell our youngsters to believe in what would that be you guys um heard my story like how hard was it um i just want to say that you know just keep going just by day and day just one day and one day don't think about what's going to happen in 10 days not a year 10 days if you go one 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 day you will realize that you got everything and you're going to keep going and time will fix everything wow. if you have any pains thank yeah. you for sharing that okay. athena pleasure having you athena in our thank show you thank so you so much, much for thank your time thank you for having me too. thank you thank you <laughs> ladies and gentlemen athena hardani a beautiful amazing youngster watch out future is bright with you in here in australia thank you athena thank you so much